Hello everyone, this is the third video on our 5x8 cargo trailer build. Today we're going to be focusing in on the ceiling insulation. I already have some of the ceiling insulation up, but we're going to be doubling up certain areas. We're also going to be closing in the rest of the front of the cargo trailer and uh, start building out the shelving that we intend to put on the front. So let's get started. at the ceiling you can see that I have put in some of the insulation I've also taped it what I'm going to be doing now is putting another layer of insulation between the uh, frame and taping that back in tape uh, it may not do a whole lot as far as heat retention but it's extremely inexpensive and I just try to make sure that I tape every single area to make sure there's no open spots either in the wall or the ceiling Overusing tape is not a bad thing. And here's a tip. Whenever you take the boards out, before you take the boards out, label them with something that you can remember to make sure you know whether it goes on the left side, the driver's side, or the passenger side. Uh, with us, we had kind of drawn out our plan on the inside, and so both the, the big board, the bottom board, and the top board have part of a window drawn on it. So that just makes it infinitely easier. I don't have to think about where it goes, and it just saves a little bit of time. All right, so I have the ceiling insulated. I have a double insulated uh, with about an inch, almost an inch and a half of uh, insulation. I have my starting point for the closet in the front, and so I'm gonna switch to working in that area now. Like I was saying before with the tape, tape is not expensive. For me, it's more or less an aesthetic thing in my head that once everything's installed, I have tape over every possible seam. Uh, like I said, for me, it's just, okay, that looks good. That looks the way it should. Uh, whether it's necessary to properly insulate to where the thermal dynamic sensitivity range whatever is where it's supposed to be I don't know but aesthetically it looks good so that way once I put the walls up and I get the ceiling put up I know I've done everything I possibly can to make sure it's done properly and I should hopefully have as few uh, heat cooling uh, issues as possible okay one thing to remember whenever you're building something outside and bringing it into the trailer, you wanna make sure that your trailer is level, both side to side and front to back. If you're going to put something in and you wanna make sure it's level inside the cargo trailer, but if your cargo trailer isn't level and you try to level uh, something whenever you're installing it, it's not gonna be level. And you won't see that or you won't notice it until you're actually on the road. So you can see what I'm doing here as well. We're putting in uh, shelves on this section. I don't have the rest of it done yet. But that's gonna be for the next video, but I just wanna kinda give you a starting point for what we're doing. And then once we're done, this whole area, the whole front of it will be a single sheet or, it's, well, because of the width, it's gonna have to be two sheets, but it's gonna be two sheets of uh, Luan with holes cut out That'll look really nice. Plus it makes it, uh, it's very functional and easy to maintain. You won't have any hinges to worry about, anything like that. Now in the first video I talked about uh, whenever you were taking out the interior walls, 
they use this luon, more or less a cheap luon, to cover these uh, the gaps where the boards came together. And I was saying to keep those. So now what I'm going to do is those pieces of, uh, like I said, thin luon, I'm going to cut those into strips. Uh, and I'm going to put them on the ceiling, and that's what I'm going to screw into the actual frame. That will give me a solid piece of wood that I can use to attach uh, a ceiling to it without having to worry about drilling into the frame and possibly missing anything. That way it eliminates the potential for drilling through to the ceiling and possibly poking through. So if you're attaching your ceiling to this, uh, it should work out fine. This is exactly what we did with our 6x10 cargo trailer ceiling. Uh, it worked out great. So you can see what we did. We cut the, some furring strips from the wood that we already had. I cut them just to go just past uh, almost to the curve of it because I have something else I'm going to do for that area to make it easier. But this is going to be, these boards that we cut were 51 and a half inches wide. That way if I get a single sheet that's 48 inches wide, it works out perfectly plus it gives me a little bit of space if I need to attach something else. We've, we found from our previous experience, this works really well. It's inexpensive because you already have the boards whenever you buy the cargo trailer. Uh, and they hold up really well too. Um, like I said, as long as you're not putting a ton of weight on them. All right, I think I've reached the stopping point for today. All the insulation, we have one inch insulation in the walls. Uh, I have a little bit more than an inch on the ceiling. Um, everything is taped in. I have this back area over the door covered, uh, insulated and taped in. We started building the cabinet area on the front, but on our next video, I'm gonna be finishing out the uh, front shelving unit and building the bed frame. Um, I think at the end of this video, I'm gonna draw something out real quick so you can see uh, where we're heading with this build. Um, it's just, I need to get inside a little bit. It's a little bit too hot for me right now. Um, but I appreciate you watching. Uh, if you like this video, please click the like button. If you'd like to subscribe and follow us on our adventures and see the cargo trailer build, please do so. If you have any comments, suggestions, or, or questions for me, let me know in the comments below and I will get back to you as quickly as possible. Until the next time, see you soon.